about that. Today's your big day. Ooh, Get up, sure. stand up, yeah, and tell man. us about it. All right, well, he's here. This past year, it's been filled with ups and downs, and by the grace of God, today marks my one year of sobriety. Oh, man. Man, what's wrong with my shooting? Come on. Oh. Hey, yo, guys. Hey, let's take a picture. Yo. Congratulations on your new home. You two are gonna be so happy there. Yeah, we're really, really excited and we just can't wait to get settled in. But thank you so much for all your help. No, you're welcome. It's been my pleasure. Let me know if you need anything at all. We'll be happy to, thank you. Thanks for all your help. Have a great weekend. Oh, thank you so much. You're all welcome. Right. See you on Monday. All right, see you on Monday. Everything's fine, it's just, um, Charlie lost his job. Yeah, he's, uh, he's been drinking a lot lately. Yeah, it's been kind of getting out of control. Yeah. I mean, you know how his temper gets when he drinks. <laughs> oh, Mom, I'm, I'm, no, I'm sorry, I, I have to go. Bye. Hey, honey, how was your day? How was my day? My day was terrible. Why do you even ask me how my day was? You know what it's like out there. You're just trying to annoy me. No, I mean, I know what it's like out there. I just, I meant. You just what? You just gonna stand there with a stupid look on your face? I don't have time for any of this. Charlie, Charlie, wait. You're just being really stubborn and you're not listening. And I just, it's really important. Your therapist said that you need to go to these meetings. You can't keep doing this alone. You need people. And you need to start talking about what happened. I'm not doing it, okay? I'm a grown man. I've served in this country in a discussion. <clears throat> oh, Rose, I'm sorry I didn't hear you come in. Is it eight o'clock already? I'm gonna be late for work. Hey, Julie. Yeah, can I see you in my office for a minute? Oh, of course, yeah. Okay, come on in. You know, I have some pretty bad news. You know, COVID's been really difficult for all of us and we're really having to cut back on our expenses um, as sales have declined. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to eliminate your position. No, no, no. I, I need this job. I have to take care of my brother at home. Is there anything we can do? That's above my head. I have no recourse, I'm sorry. Thank you. Why am I even alive? All I do is mess up. 
I'm all alone and I can't change. I don't want to do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. Hello, son. Hey, Dad. How are you doing? I'm all right. How about you? I'm doing good. Got off, got off of work a little early. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah. Hey, uh, son, uh, listen, how about we go play some uh, baseball outside? <sighs> no, Dad. I'm not feeling it today. No, I just don't. Um, I don't want. Okay, son. It can't do this anymore. I always, I always feel, feel like I'm going, going to slow. slow. The world, the world is falling apart. apart. Everyone, Everyone is depressed. I have no friends. Home sucks. No one likes me. I always worry like I have to be happy. Everyone is depressed. Everyone is depressed. Everyone has no friends. Everyone sucks. Everyone has no friends. Everyone is depressed. 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 Everyone is depressed.
Why are you hiding from me? You know deep down that you are good. So why do you keep running from me? The very poverties you run from, I reach out my hand and welcome. Arise, my child, for it is in the poverty of your heart and spirit that I can give you life. Your world is a place filled with uncertainty and fear. Your heart is beautiful and big, but you've convinced yourself that you're unworthy. Raise up your gaze and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. It is with this disposition that you will inherit the earth. Your angst grows, and I feel you slip further away. The world promises you synthetic joy with its hollow entertainment, passing fads, and aiming at too little in life. Rise up against your indifference and know that you are right to be disappointed. Do not be afraid to stand alone, for the pure in heart see God, and God always sees you. You call out for me in your anguish and your pain. Can't you hear my voice? Your bones are breaking from the burden you bear on your shoulders. How badly I want to revive them and give you life. My dear one, I meet you on your knees and we will rise up together. Seek consolation from my heart and my hands alone. Society says that you can behave however you want and still be a good person but the conscience is telling a different story of debilitating depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem. Do not let the world seduce and enslave you to the belief that you must think like everyone else, turning you into slaves, addicts, and failures in life, dependent on the ideologies of a demoralized culture. Let me remind you of who you are. You are the salt of the earth. You give the very flavor to all of life. Like a city set on the top of a mountain, which cannot be hidden, you illuminate the world. Let me fill you with my grace. Let me liberate you, transform you, heal and console you. I will embrace you after every fall. I will help you rise.